Welcome to another episode of Gundam Hoarding. On today's episode of Gundam Hoarding, we say thank you to Tom Laird for a trade of a scrap, slightly rare Zaku to version 1 MSIA figure for all of this. These scraps that he didn't have anything uh, to do with. And uh, I don't even know what's in here. So I'm a customizer, always salvaging, taking pieces of these project or these, you know, uh, wonderful MSA Gundam action figures and utilizing them for stuff. And I totally have a use for that sword. Yes, I'm actually working on a butler Gundam with joints and he needs a sword of his own because he's supposed to duel with the Rose Gundam. I don't know why I'm making it. It's more like a challenge because I don't even like G Gundam. But G Gundam is full of useful parts when you're a customizer. So this guy, case in point. See that vent on the side of his head? That's a vent. You could cut that off and glue it to the side of a GM's head and turn it into a GMD type. Yeah. So that round thing, that's cool. Uh, so many useful things. The joints can be useful. The plastic, these vents right here, are kind of like the vents on the back of a Desert Zaku 2. But they never made a Desert Zaku 2 MSIA. But I'm going to cut some of those off and use them. Raven Gundam scraps right here. I was working at one point just for the fun of it on a uh, uh, Taurus mobile doll from Gundam Wing. I gave up on the project just because it's not a priority, but um, it was fun. I made a lot of progress, actually. A new Gundam full of thrusters, always useful. Thrusters in the feet come out, too, by the way. I wonder if he's got the little saber in his arm. He does! Yeah! Battle Scarred Master Gundam. It's a big build. Actually, this is, this is flexible MSA-style plastic right there. That might be handy or something. Josh Cerna made a MSA of this guy. I thought that was really cool. Look at the hands. They're all clear. He's neat. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But he's neat. Shoulders are cool. There's a strange monstrosity. It's just like the joints can be compatible with things they aren't even supposed to be compatible with. I should have a plan for these lasers. Maybe. Let's see. Another bit of new Gundam parts. Awesome. A few thrusters on him. Yes! Flexible. I'm getting too long in this video. I'm sorry. Uh, this is flexible. It's useful for making a Zaku Cannon shield. This is a mobile suit in the pocket figure from uh, Gundam Victory. I don't actually have any of these guys in my collection. They're cool. Thank you, Tom. Totally needed some of these. You can try and make a custom Zagat Claw. Okay, another Burning Gundam. Did you know he has ball in his shoulders? I haven't found a use for him yet. But there's a second bag! Videos. They were too long. I don't think anyone's still watching. But I'm having fun describing things I do with these. So, very neat. Laser shield for this guy. This guy's pretty much complete as far as I can tell. Maybe he needs a sword. Crappy shotgun. More boosters. Someday I'm going to find a way to use this guy for something. Hmm. Interesting. Snake Gundam. I'll find a use for him someday too. He has such the, just the coolest legs. Look at that. Dark army legs. Ooh, more claws. Totally going to use those. These are fun sets of joints. Oops. That's fun. Stands. For what? Who knows? Ooh, missile pod. Yeah. Ooh, handy. Nice. Goes to a good ignited. I wonder if I gave that part to Tom and he just gave it back. <laughs> a mummy Gundam without a head. Any mobile fighter whose head has section has been destroyed is disqualified. Ooh. I've even figured out where I can use, like, the lower torso joint 
and like clip away the extra plastic and turn it into a double ball joint for making uh, MSA figures more flexible for stop motion animation. So, honestly, all of these are handy to me. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Gundam Hoarding. I just made that up today. Might be hoarding, though. Might be. But I use this stuff pretty regularly. I probably build customs a lot. I just build customs a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video. If anyone's still there, make sure to check out the Mobile Soon Action uh, Gundam Facebook group. It's awesome. See you guys later.